So in the last video, we talked about the idea of external validity, meaning that, you know, does what you found in your study, what you found to be true in that case, hold true in a more general way externally to the outside world or to other cases that you didn't uh, look at? Uh, now th we have the, the inverse of that, which is internal, internal validity. And this just has to do with the idea of what is happening within. Instead of external or outside of your study, this has to do with within your study. Um, let me put that within your study. Are you making claims about what happened that are valid? Uh, in other words, remember with validity, this means the results. The results mean what you claim they mean. I mean, this is one way of phrasing this. In this case, we're saying, do the results mean what you claim they mean within just within your study, not worrying about whether they apply in other cases. Now, uh, more specifically, uh, this is the definition that I like, but more specifically, this is essentially always used in cases where we're talking about experiments. Uh, with, again, the idea of an experiment, meaning that we are trying to demonstrate that one thing causes another. So in this case, when we say that the results mean what you claim they mean, what we are saying is specifically the kind of claim we're going to make is that X, X causes X causes Y. So in the example that we've looked at, our very silly example, we've talked about the idea of looking at whether spinach is related to intelligence. And in particular, we might want to do a study in which we say, does spinach cause an increase in intelligence? And we, we noted that if we just go out and, uh, and grab people out there in the world who are with that, we're not going to do any kind of actual experiment. We're not going to manipulate their spinach eating habits. We're just going to go out there and measure how much spinach they eat and measure their intelligence. And then we find this relationship between spinach and intelligence. Oh, you know, smarter people eat more spinach. If we were to then claim, make this claim that spinach causes intelligence, making this causal claim. So internal validity has, has to do with causal claims, claims having to do with causes. If we make this causal claim, but we didn't actually do an experiment, well, then we can say that this, this lacks internal validity. Personally, I think that it would be nice if the term was causal validity, because that would tell you more specifically that it has to do with causes. Uh, and I think internal validity, we should just use as a general term for anything that's going on within your study. But a lot of people use this specifically to mean with, uh, to ha having to do with uh, issues of causality, whether it's something, whether you are valid in stating that something causes something else within your study. Now, we saw that the, the reason why that design, that way of setting up our study lacked internal validity, or the reason why there was a problem with it, why we couldn't say that spinach caused intelligence, we saw that that was because there were, there were alternative, oops, alternative explanations. The al one alternative explanation is that smarter people eat spinach. So in other words, instead of spinach causing intelligence we said maybe it's maybe it's possible that intelligence causes spinach or maybe there's some other variable that is that is causing people to be both intelligent and eat spinach the point is there are alternative explanations other than the one that spinach causes intelligence and those alternative explanations are very feasible they're just as likely as what we are claiming which means that our claim is not substantiated it's not backed up by the evidence and the reasons that we're giving and that that is where basically all the threats to internal validity come from. They come from alternative explanations. So alternative explanations are, are where threats to internal validity come from. And we will look at a number of these so that you know how those can hopefully be prevented.